today we're going to take flat paper strips and make it all bunch of them into a paper sculpture. The cool thing about sculptures is that they have sides. So if you walk around them where you, they turn, they look different from each side. It's pretty cool, right? Hello, my talented artists. I'm going to show you some ways to curl and fold these paper strips so that we can make a three-dimensional sculpture. Your name should be on the bottom of your sculpture, so be sure to turn over your black paper. This is called the base of your sculpture. Here is a sculpture made out of paper. Sculptures are always three-dimensional. Three-dimensional means that it has height, width and depth it sticks out in space which means you can walk around a sculpture because it has different sides sculptures can be made out of stone wood wax metal ice and really anything that you can think of and they can be really really big or very small Sculptures can even move. The first thing I want you to do is pick a paper strip and lay it on your table. Then you can take a crayon or a pencil and set it on the edge of your paper strip. You are then gonna take your little fingers and roll it over that pencil or crayon and then you're gonna roll, 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 roll your paper strip gently on the table. Merrily, 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 merrily. We are all able to make a paper curl. Here's my curl. Let's see what happens when I let it go. It goes boing, watch. Boing! <laughs> now we have a paper curl and we can stick it on our base. So we are gonna take our finger, we're sharing glue, so keep it on the table, and we are gonna dip, do a little yo-yo up and down to make sure it's not too drifty, and wipe that glue right where you want it. And then press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That helps me press harder. Now I'm going to show you another way to make a paper strip into a three dimensional part of a sculpture. Pick another paper strip and we are going to fold it and then flip it like a pancake. Fold it and flip. Fold and flip. Fold and flip it over. Fold and flip it over. Fold and flip it over. If you have a little bit left, you can just fold that. And look, look what happens. Boing, boing, boing. We are going to use our glue again. Dip yo-yo and then wipe it wherever you want it to be. I'm going to wipe it on one end and stick it and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I want to add the glue on the other end of my blue folded strip. And I can put it anywhere. Let's see, it changes depending on where I put it. Hmm, maybe I'll put it right next to the other side. I need to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I just keep going, practicing my curling and folding techniques. Boing. 
boing, boing, boing. Dip. Yo, yo. Wipe. Where will I put this one? Maybe I'll put it inside here. Press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have some glue on my finger. I'm just going to wipe it on my sculpture. If your fingers are feeling a little messy, just wipe it on your sculpture. It will dry clear. I'm just speeding up the video so we can get to your turn quicker. I can't wait to see what your sculptures will look like. Boing. Dip. Yo, yo. Wipe. Press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.